Today we'll be going over three different ways that you can enable Hyper-V if you are going to be using Hyper-V to run some virtual machines on your desktop. One option is you can click on the start menu, go down to the settings. You will click on apps, optional features, and you will scroll down to the bottom under related settings for more Windows features. And it, go, it opens the Windows features option. I already have Hyper-V enabled, but it does give you the option so you could just check it off and then click OK and it will download the required software for it. A second option is you can go ahead and type control panel. Under control panel, you'll click on programs, turn windows features on and off, and you just check off on Hyper-V and click OK. Lastly, um, you can just type in windows features and it pulls up here for the best match. Turn one of those features on and off. And you just check off Hyper-V and click OK. And with that, you would have it installed. That is three different ways that you can have Hyper-V enabled.